So I got one more piece for you. Why are you so confined by space and time? In the beginning, there were no boundaries, no borders. There was only the rhythm, the universal heartbeat of existence, indistinguishable from your own heartbeat. Nurtured by the pink matter of the cosmos, what is a mother's womb but a microcosm of the entire universe? A big bang placed you at the forefront of an ever-expanding reality, a burst of 100 million, and it was you who was best equipped to reach the egg first. After overcoming odds like that, why would you ever doubt your own potential? <laughs> as long as the drum beats, you can compose an infinite catalog of symphonies. The world will watch in awe as gametes become zygotes, and zygotes become ball players and musicians, poets and physicians, industrialists and activists, superheroes and astronauts, kings and queens, gods and goddesses, titans. Modern marvels rooted in ancient mass, the very thing we are composed of, can be neither created nor destroyed. So our bodies are filled to the brim with knowledge of the universe extending back eons. I recently read that the comparison of electrons orbiting a nucleus to planets orbiting the sun is an oversimplification of an atom's anatomy. Do you realize what that means? That our bodies are built from trillions of elements more complex than solar systems. When combined, our potential extends beyond that of galaxies. It's almost as if God created gravity just so we can defy it. To catapult <laughs> ourselves beyond this planet's limitations and explore the very matter we are descended from. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I heard it said that the body is a temple. I think that's an oversimplification of human anatomy. If a mother's womb is a microcosm of the entire universe, then we are products of everything that's ever existed. With all of that energy pent up inside of you, why would you choose to live in remission? I mean, how could you? Without exploding from the pressure of succumbing to depression, listen. Do you hear it? Better yet, do you recognize it? Beating inside of your chest a reminder that you are a manifestation of the infinite. So I ask again, why are you so confined by space and time when reality is limitless? Thank you.